All right, it's finally time to start getting ready for the Gatsby party. The first thing that I'm gonna do, I just got out of the shower and I put some product in my hair and I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more, but I'm gonna do my makeup first. The first step for me is putting on some of this lotion by Pacifica. Am I supposed to do this? It is the coconut probiotic. Um, my skin tends to be on the drier side and so I like to kind of put a pretty decent layer on my skin. Now I will say that when I'm in the shower, I do wipe my face and neck off with a super microfiber uh, face washcloth by Norwex. And so it does pull everything off of my face, <clears throat> which doesn't help with the dryness, but it makes the biggest difference on my nose as far as like pulling everything up goes. So I love the way that it, it makes my face feel super clean, even though I have to put lotion on my face pretty quick afterwards. Um, I don't sell Norwex or anything like that. I just happened to buy a couple of them, I think maybe a year ago. And I actually really like their stuff, but their stuff lasts forever. So I just kind of let that lotion dry a little bit on my face. And it's not, it doesn't take too long. The next thing that I'm going to put on, and I have to kind of be quick right now because, well, I have six kids over here and I'm always running late, let's just be honest. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone can relate with that. I have this um, Tarte Poreless Primer, and um, I should probably do this first before I take this off. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of wearing out, but it's a really good product. I like it a lot. I don't feel like I wear a lot of makeup, but I don't know, maybe to someone that wears no makeup might seem like a lot. So I just put this underneath my eyes, kind of go all around. And I'm not a professional, everybody, so don't judge my finger technique here. I probably should be using some kind of a special tool. I put it on the corners of my nose, especially right now with me blowing my nose so much. My nose is very sad right now. Put it in the, you know, right in the corner, on top, all the way up. And then I usually put a little bit on my chin. So I let that sit for just a second and sink in. And the next thing that I'm going to do is put on the Tarte Shape Tape. That's right, Tarte Shape Tape. And I think this is uh, Ulta exclusive, the Shape Tape. But I've been really impressed with it and mine has lasted a long time. Um, as far as I know, I try, I really try my very, very, very best to get everything vegan. Um, if it's not vegan, it's not to my knowledge. Like I don't, I didn't know that it wasn't, but I do try to do my research anytime I buy anything like that. And as far as I know, the Tarte brand is pretty, pretty good about that kind of stuff. So usually what I'll do with the, uh, with the uh, shape tape is I just take the wand and I will just lightly uh, go underneath my eyes. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'll do a couple dots on my cheeks and some on my um, chin and then a little bit on my nose. Now with this it's kind of interesting, you don't want to let this bake. You want to get this blended in fairly quickly because it won't, it, it does not fare well if you don't. So I just have a little sponge here and I believe this is a tart round sponge as well. So I'm going to hurry and get that blended. And you just want to, you know, make sure that you're blending it well and it doesn't look too crazy. Now your face is going to be pretty light if you're doing this kind of a routine. Um, so you're just going to want to make sure you rub everything in really good. All around the nose, especially if you have a runny nose and you've been rubbing it like crazy, blowing it like crazy. So I kind of just go around my whole face and make sure that everything is generally rubbed in. My nose is just gonna have to be a little bit red tonight and that's okay, not the end of the world. Hmm, okay. When you feel like you've rubbed it in well, you're like, it doesn't look any different. <laughs> 
I promise you in real life it does. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I have some Tarte Fairlight Neutral um, Creamy Powder Foundation right here. And I am using a mascara brush. Now the brushes are vegan, the makeup is not. Um, I wanted to support a friend of mine and I didn't want to buy any of the makeup because it wasn't vegan, but the brushes were, so I was like, okay, I'll buy one brush. And it's actually turned out to be a really good brush. So usually I just go around my whole face lightly with the creamy foundation, not really thick. I don't like my makeup to look like it's thick on my face. I like to look fairly natural. Ladies, don't forget the neck area. Just go down into the neck area a bit. My skin is on the more pink side, so Make sure you get your forehead. You want everything to be very similar in color. Get under the eyes. All right. So basically super white. <laughs> Cause I'm a ginger, what can I say? Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do, I have the Kat Von D Contour Palette. Oh, I don't know if you can see it well but it actually took me a long time to start using this because I have another palette that I use a lot and then I have the um, IT brush, this brush right here. I am not even sure what this brush is called, but it's the big one. And that's what I'm gonna contour my face with. I just used this, this one that's absolutely been used a lot to contour my face. And I'll do, I'm gonna do it in the mirror and then show you. I kind of just do the basic three on my face. I don't even know if this is super basic, but I feel like I look half decent once I'm done. Like I said, make sure you get your neck. So I've done one side of my face now. Now I'll do the other side. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna wear some red lipstick or not. It's not usually like me, so I might not, but we'll see. We will see. I'm meeting a lot of people for the first time tonight. Well, I think I am anyway. So I want to make a good first impression. Anyway, so as long as you kind of get, you know, in all the right areas, you should look like you have some color on your face. All right, the next thing that I will do is I have this other Tarte um, palette that I've had for a decent amount of time. It's worn out. But there's some really pretty colors in here. I might actually get another color. I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, I have, oh crap, I think this is a Tarte brush. I've had it for a long time, let's be honest. I'm just gonna do that light pink on my eyes. Like I said, I like to keep things pretty basic. I don't usually put on eyeliner. It just looks really hard on my super white skin. And so I just, I'm not, I'm just not very good at that. Let's be honest. Okay, so it's just a really neutral color, but just enough to make you feel like you got something on there, I guess. And the next thing that I will do is curly, curly old eyelashes. So I'll do that real quick. I think there's only one thing in my makeup bag that I'm not entirely sure, certain or sure of that's vegan or not vegan. I've tried to research it several times, but since, it be, since it's from another country, it's kind of hard to know. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so the mascara I have is this cute little panda. I don't even know what the brand of this is, but I have been using it for a very long time. And um, it's from Korea. And I know that there are, it's from Tony Moly's. Maybe it's the Tony Moly brand, I don't know. I tried looking it up though for Shersies and I could not figure it out. So um, this is what the wand looks like. There's that, so hold on. And I'll probably end up doing two layers of mascara just because I want it to be like super bold and noticeable tonight. All 
All right, I apologize if you can hear the heater, it just kicked on. Okay, so I have now put on my mascara. I'd like to think that it's a pretty good one. There's what it looks like. And now I gotta do my eyebrows. So here's the face without the eyebrows, which we all know eyebrows are a very important part of getting everything ready. They really shape the face up, honestly. Eyebrows make a big difference, so. I highly recommend getting to know your eyebrows in all the ways. What I have for my eyebrows is, I have the, <clears throat> just like a regular eyebrow brush. I don't, I can't remember where it's from, honestly. But this is the Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo in Auburn. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe my hair is Auburn. And I love it so much. It works so well. I was fortunate in the brow color department as a ginger because I can tell you one thing right now, my sister has white eyebrows and white eyelashes and you can't see them with when there's nothing on them. So I got kind of lucky as far as that goes. So I'll just do one side for now so you can see the difference between the two. And like, if you have any questions, I've been doing my brows now for a decent amount of time. Okay, so this is the side that's done and this is the side that is not done. So it's not, I'm like looking at it, it's not like the color is super different but it just gives it so much more shape. I'm sure you can tell. So now I'll do the other one. Someone's crying or fighting out there. It's not surprising. I'm sure Skylar will handle it just fine. Now when you first start doing your brows, you need to really um, test, like you need to practice, because it can be very foreign at first and if you're not used to having color on your eyebrows it can feel like you look yes, like a weirdo. Talking to yourself in the again. I am. I'm talking to myself in the bathroom again. Oh, I hope I haven't been flashing anybody. Anyway, okay so now I got both eyebrows on. So now the next step is I'm just going to put a little bit of product in my eyebrows so that they stay where I want them to stay. All right, I think that completes my face. Just about. I am pretty sure that I am going to, oh, here it is. Whether I put on red lipstick or not, I usually do like to put on a natural lip liner. I just feel like it really accentuates the lips, even if you're just putting chapstick on. I'll show you. This is just the NYX Natural. Maybe I should give you a closer, closer up view of that so you can maybe say it better. Unless it doesn't want to focus. Never mind. All right. So, if I end up putting on the red, I don't think it's gonna be like the end of the world. So I'm just gonna put, I have the liner on now. I'm gonna put the chapstick on. Which just like Finn said, is eco lips. Eco lips. All right, so I don't know if you can tell the difference. Maybe. But there's that. All right, last but not least, to set everything in place and where it needs to be, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And I usually just spray one, make sure it's not clogged or anything, and then I spray my face. We want everything staying on all night, ladies. I mean, not all night. I'm gonna wash that off, unless you're like me half the time and you just don't wash it off because you're naughty. Anyway, okay, the next part of this is doing my hair and that's actually not gonna take very long at all. So, we gotta get the curling iron on and then we'll get dressed. I'm so excited. 
While the curling iron is heating up, I just wanted to make sure that if you have any questions about any of the products that I've used, just ask me, comment, whatever, email, anything really, and I would be happy to talk to you about it. These products that I'm using, I've been using them for quite a while. Once I like something, I really like to stick with it because it can be kind of hard with freckles, etc., to find the right stuff. Where are all my gingers at, right? Like, if any of my ginger pals need any tips or tricks, I think I could probably help you. Maybe, we'll see. Skylar just came in, you wanna say hi real quick? Hi real quick. He has gold tie to match my dress. And the curling, curling iron is done heating up, so we're gonna wrinkle my hair. All right, I'm trying to think. I'll just pop in every so often, or maybe I'll stay like this. I don't know. Okay, so with a pixie cut, um, you hair, you actually have quite a few options. I'm actually growing my hair out right now, and so <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like the minute. Everyone loves this haircut on me, but I'm growing it out and everyone keeps commenting like, oh, I love that pixie haircut on you, it's perfect, you should keep it forever. And then I'm like, I'm actually growing it out every single time. But yes, I'm growing it out right now, just like I talked about, I'm taking the biotin. And uh, yeah, so I'm just taking really small sections of my hair, not actually not that small, they're probably medium size, and I don't even have to hold it on there long because my hair curls pretty easily and it is still a little bit damp though so I hope it's I don't know I have some product on it speaking of product hair products can be very difficult to find vegan wise um, like I said I really do try my very very hardest to get brands that um, that are vegan friendly that are vegan I was getting the Vegan Cuts Beauty Box for a while, and I did get some really great things through that, but um, I ended up not, like, I just felt like I had all these little things hanging out everywhere and wasn't using some of them, and so I felt like it was kind of wasteful. But there are some things that I discovered because I was getting those. Yes, so I'm just letting the curls sit as, as they are for a second and um, then I'm gonna like just gently tossle the hair to make it go where I need it to go. The back of my hair is still kind of damp though so that makes me a little bit nervous but basically I'm just gonna finger finger the hair. Okay actually I might I might end up taking the brush to it. I need it to look a very specific way for this party tonight. So I think I'm actually going to grab the brush and comb. The good old brush and comb. I'm just gonna lightly comb through this. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> but it is doing what I need it to, if you'll notice in the front here. All right, I think it is where I would like it to be. So I'm probably just gonna finish it off with some, with some product. I might put some like powder in it to get it to stay kind of more vol voluminous. Voluminous. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll go from there. But I'm gonna go get my dress on, I think. All right, I have my dress on. It's kind of hard to see probably from this angle. I've got my shoes. I don't even know, what, what, I got these a long time ago. And I dropped them. And I don't, I literally, I don't remember. Yeah, I got them a long time ago. All right, I got two sets of pieces of jewelry here. This is the necklace that I will be wearing. Just put it on right now. So as you can see, it's long and flowy. I have two gold gloves, which I'll put those on in just a second to show you the full effect. Um, <clears throat> but I think one of the more important things is my headpiece and my earrings. 
They are quite dazzling. They are pretty. Okay, so here are the earrings. Funny enough, I got these from Hobby Lobby. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> don't worry. It's an easy fix. There we go, I got it. I got it fixed, guys. Anyway, oh, come on, focus. It's so cute and pretty. They're like little gold leaves. Is that right? I gotta look at the other one. I'm worried I just jacked it up. Yeah, that's right. We got it, we're good. I just need to pinch this together a little bit. Okay, there we go. Ain't nothing coming out of that. Okay, earrings in. Oh, one earring with the back on it so I make sure I don't lose it. And we have the second earring. Maybe I can find the hole. I'm super mature. Okay. And then the other very important piece is this. I'm gonna put it on and then show you. We had a bit of a struggle there for a moment and I thought that it might not work out, but I got my headpiece in. And I think it's rather dashing. I think. I'm not sure if the feather, like, if, if this feather is going ski wampus or not. I don't know. I don't know. But we have one more thing to put on besides the shoes. That is the gold gloves. So I will hurry and put those on so that you can see them. It was really fun picking out the <clears throat> costume. I ordered this dress on Amazon and I want to say it was like $50. It really wasn't that bad. Like I didn't, I am not one to spend a ton of money on things, people, like, unless it's kitchen stuff, then that's like the one exception, but in all honesty, I really don't. Okay, just gotta put my bracelet on and then I'll show you. All right, here is the completed look. Besides the shoes. It has been a pleasure getting ready with you and showing you a little bit how about how you're ready. This is like my regular makeup, so it's really not much different than usual, but it's cool. Same with my hair, I just have a really cool headband and that's the main difference. But I'll probably get a few shots later. We'll see. But it's been great. Alright, I ended up going with the red lipstick. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to go.